Welcome back to Local 24 News at Midday. I'm Kelsey Cairns. And I'm John Paul. Right now for you at 11, Shelby County School Superintendent Dr. Joris Ray just wrapped up a big announcement to help young African-American men in Shelby County schools. And he did it with prominent local leaders and SCS students. Local 24 News reporter Brad Broders is live in downtown Memphis at the National Civil Rights Museum, where the press conference was held. Brad, tell us about the African-American Male Empowerment Initiative. Yeah, yeah, Kelsey and John, this is a very aggressive initiative led by Superintendent Dr. Joris Ray. A short while ago, Dr. Ray, Superintendent of Schools of Shelby County Schools, as well as MPD Director Mike Rawlings and others, walked here in solidarity here about this uh, initiative, which it targets African American boys, which although they are enrolling at a higher rate in SES, they are also scoring the least of any group of SES students. So, Dr. Ray said the time is now; they cannot wait any longer. Now, this initiative has seven priorities, including more mentoring and programs in every district, every zip code in Memphis, as well as hiring more African-American teachers for those in K through five. Dr. Ray said that's really important to give them, uh, to these students, an, an important role model to have in these schools. Uh, this is going to be a five-year plan. They hope to see results within about three years. They really want to reverse those test scores, also lower suspensions, and they really believe this initiative can do this. Dr. Ray was also joined today by Memphis basketball coach Penny Hardaway. There were hundreds of students here at SCS, the exact same students this initiative is targeting and helping turn around achievement and basic in their lives for these teenagers to improve and have more mentors inside and outside the classroom we'll have more in this initiative and hear from those students themselves as well as dr ray starting our local 24 news at five reporting live in downtown Memphis, brad broders local 24 news midday